Hello internet, uh, welcome back. This is John here and uh, today we are talking about uh, uh, police uh, encounter and uh, infringement of uh, um, constitutional rights of uh, innocent persons or uh, citizens or civilians. And in this particular instance, we'll be looking at uh, the case of uh, Justice Tracker. Uh, Justice Tracker has a, a, a YouTube uh, ch uh, channel uh, uh, with the same name as uh, Justice Tracker. And uh, uh, some time back, uh, Justice Tracker was... Uh, illegally detained by uh, police uh, officers in uh, his uh, compound, in his home. So uh, apparently um, the officers were handling another case in the neighbor's house and uh, Justice Tracker was, uh, uh, was with uh, his girlfriend and playing some music. Uh, in his uh, in his car while they were on the yard in the, on their own yard in their own house so um uh when while the police were in, in the neighbor's compound uh justice tracker uh, played um, uh, some music uh, which uh, apparently the police did not like so they came uh, rather than dealing with the issues which brought them uh, to neighbor's house they ended up coming to justice tracker's uh, 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 compound and uh, tried to illegally uh, detain him and press charges on uh, illegally on him and yet justice tracker had not committed any crime but uh, what saved the situation is that Justice tra Tracker is someone who understands his rights and uh, he was, a, he was um, able to stand his ground and uh, eventually um, uh, the, the officers had to leave without pressing any charges, without uh, arresting him uh, uh, or, or, or taking him to jail. All because just uh, Justice Tracker knew his rights and his, he also knew how to articulate uh, his innocence. Let's watch uh, 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 this clip and then uh, we'll proceed. Okay. Call me public good citizen who abides by the law. Call so me that. My, my question is this here. Why did this have to turn into such a big deal? Yeah, I, that's not, that wasn't on me. You guys could have done your job and walked off. Don't ask me that. Do not ask me that. You guys are trained by the academy professionals who are trained. That's in your manual. De-escalation, training. And I'm going to check your, your, I'll check, I'm checking both your jackets tonight. I'm going to put it in the foyer immediately. I'm going to know your we, disciplinary we, we, record. We I'm going to know your disciplinary we record. I'm going to know here. your training. I am going to you know your salary. You just think you I am going to answers. know when you were hired. So you listen to I am going to know what any complaints you have. I'm going to know everything about you Perfect. by... In, in a few days, we right? To I'll find that when out. I walked out here and I asked you to turn you it down not a little bit. You did not in the procedural manner. That's you did not. He did. No. No. I know what I observed. I know the camera don't lie. Well, since I did, you might just turn it down for us. We can leave. He's already escalated. Come on, man. Let's, let's let us do And, and I'm going to tell you what else. All you have to do is literally, I'm going to keep space. Oops. All you have to do is literally get in your cars and leave. There's no, I don't have, there's no complaint to all right? You know law, or you're learning. I've been knowing this for a long time, over but 10 you, years. You never answered I've my been, question originally. You're, you're you, going to you, hear me you're, out, or you're, you're going to cop explain me. You're you're That's preaching. fine. That's fine. You're you have the... But you're you, not have, you have the... In this, uh, in this scenario, uh, if there was no video, because the camera never lies, 
the beauty is that uh, chassis tracker was able to uh, take videos uh, of the the, uh, the ensuing um, uh, drama so the video saved um, uh, saved him a lot because he had proof because the, the camera never lies he had proof to show that he was innocent and the officers were just trying to 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 uh, trying to detain him illegally and uh, you will realize as it uh, 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 as we go further that they were trying to to talk to him with so many trying to kind of abate so that they can find something to hold on and that's where uh, uh, the issue of uh, uh, being silent or being quiet uh, comes in and uh, and it's always for 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 for, for the advantage of the innocent person or it's better to keep quiet if you you are not able to articulate your innocence and ask for a lawyer if if uh, if need be but for justice tracker he did not keep quiet but he could not answer some questions there are some questions um, which were tailored to to to, to make him look uh, guilty or, or uh, to make him look like he has committed a crime but he always refused to answer those questions so that's an intelligent way of handling uh, officers because at the end of the day when they know you are you are innocent they will always try to pick on something else to pin you down and uh, as we proceed with this video you will realize that uh, justice Raga was very smart and he was not they were not able to fix him he, he uh, platinly refused to answer some questions which were meant to trick him to to to, to, to and uh, and he would only answer the the, the 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 questions which are genuine which are honest or which were honestly asked by the officers so let's continue listening the authority and the option to say hey you know what this ain't even a big deal Mission getting our cars you say to go. You sued us Mission. Is this something that you're trying to do again? To get another. I'm just. Asking. That's where we're going. I'm. I'm asking. See? I'm curious. Now, your narrative is changing. Okay. I'm just um, asking a question. You have options here. You have two options. You have two. Damn me. I'm gonna buy. All right. Two options. You can escalate it continually. You can force whatever you want to force. And I'm. I'm fine with all that. Or you can be like, you know what? This is no big deal. Mm -hmm. Our objective is accomplished. Get your cars and leave and leave it alone. It's on you from here. You can. It's on you from here. So you're not taking any responsibility. You know what? You. Uh, something which is uh, very smart in this interaction is that uh, Justice Tracker was more calm than even uh, one of the officers there, uh, who who, uh, who was uh, talking in a way to escalate the situation. And uh, Justice Tracker was even schooling him that uh, you are trained uh, uh, to de-escalate situations like this. He was actually teaching them how to do their work. You were escalated as a profession. You're on the job, for God's sake. You're on the job. You're not taking any responsibility. You're not going to respond to that, are you? That are you on I, the that job? I, that I, I am on the job, yes. And I, so you're supposed to be professional? Which responsibility? You see now they are trying, this other officer is trying, uh, on the left side, is trying to create a scenario that there is a responsibility. What he is being accused of at the moment is that uh, he is playing loud noise or loud music. But in real sense, it's not the, the loud music. It is a type of music which just the striker was playing. So the, the, the citizen is innocent so it's the fact that the kind of music he was playing is that kind of music which the officers do not like and uh, it is not about the noise uh, being uh, loud because this is a, a private property it's not in, in a public place because the, the, the if you consider the uh, 
uh, I, I checked the rules for uh, this uh, department and they said it should be it should be in a public place and as loud as more than if the sound can be heard from your car more than 75 uh, feet away that's when you can um, uh, you can be uh, uh, fined for that, for that or penalized for that but that was not the case here so they are trying to 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 fix him for something a crime he did not commit and uh, later on you will not um, uh, uh, from a previous um, um, from, from you would note that it's uh, there's somewhere where Justice Tracker indicated that uh, they had been arrested illegally uh, prior uh, to this event on the pre the, the prior uh, date and uh, they had done that illegally but when they realized that uh, whatever they were doing was illegal they they, they just um, uh, left but then they were not happy about it so this was like a revenge uh, mission or something like that yes courteous yes. respectful yes and i will protect and serve yes de-escalate yes then why are you in my driveway when your scene was because over there because of music that has stopped now why are you in my that damn blower is louder than my music so is it mute? No, I do. I actually do. Perfect. Don't do that. Then you talk I got a job for the mayor tomorrow. Dan Finney and I work. So don't play with Perfect. me. You ran into the wrong driveway. You just didn't realize it. You just really didn't realize it. That's fine. This is your opportunity to be like, you know what? You know what? You get down now. You know what? Turn it down. It's totally up to you from here. In your own records, whatever you choose to do, I don't care. I'll, I'll abide by it. Your officer is the law. Your authority stops when you're breaking the law, but that's fine. I'll still abide by it until whatever. Like, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, buddy. I promise you. You'll regret it later if you don't do the right thing. I promise you will. Perfect. Okay. Any action I take will be lawful. You're right. Am I being detained or am I under arrest? You're currently not free to go, no. So, I didn't ask you that. See, see that? Am I being detained or am I under arrest? It's a very specific question. And if you don't... That's a very uh, important question to always ask the, the officers. Because sometimes you'll be standing there, they have not... Because they have not uh, told you that you're arrested or detained. But they are trying to find a way of fixing you up. And uh, the more you stay there, the more they find something, some excuse to pin you on. So it's always good to 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 be on record that uh, you have been uh, detained and uh, or uh, uh, arrested because that can save you later in case you uh, you go to, you go to court or you 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 complain. Answer it. I'm gonna walk off. If you don't answer the question directly, I will walk off. You didn't. If you don't tell me I'm detained or under arrest, I'm walking off. Thank you. No, he he did it right. So everybody being detained. So why am I being detained for a suspicion of what crime? And what is your reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed? About to be committed. The city ordinance violation. You failed to identify yourself. You are that's a You are obstructing our city ordinance for loud music. I don't hear any music. Yeah, it was earlier captured on body camera. And that's phone. fine, but do you hear it now? No, I'm just going to give up your information. All right, you know what? Like I said, I will go with you willingly. I'll put my phone down. I'll stop. I'll stop the recording here where I'm being detained in my on my property. Are you going to give up? By two officers day? on scene for something that happened next door at my neighbor's house. I will willingly go with you, officer, and submit to your authority. I will willingly go. So you're gonna tell us you heard me what I said. I, look, I'm not going to play with words and do all those games. I'm not. That's I, I, exactly what you are doing. That's exactly what you are doing. We went from it, it is uh, sad that uh, these officers came for an issue on the neighbor's house, but now they are focusing their attention on this innocent uh, man here. Uh, who was not involved in any way with the neighbor's issue. The only crime is that, the only, not even crime, the only issue uh, which affected the ego 
egos of these officers is that he, he played some new, um, uh, uh, they call it noir or NWA music, which the officers do not uh, uh, did not like. Uh, so that's why they are trying to see how how the, if they can get something to to accuse him of. But uh, they were wrong because this man knows his rights. And uh, the the issue of music uh, uh, for this department is that um, okay, it's, uh, it states that no person can operate a sound uh, amplification system in a motor vehicle if the sound can be heard outside the vehicle uh, from seventy five feet or more. And uh, this applies when the vehicle is located or operated on a public right of way, unless the system is being is being operated to request assistance. So this is this one is talking of public place. This man was in his uh, property, in his house, and uh, it was not loud as he, he is. Uh, and in any case, at this point, the music was off. So. The problem had been sorted, even if, if at all it was, it existed. At this point, there was no problem. The music had already been uh, um, uh, turned off, so they had no uh, basis standing there and trying to victimize an innocent person. And uh, Justice uh, Tracker uh, commented a letter that uh, and said that uh, uh, just to let you know. The day before, me and my girlfriend were both taken down by five officers and uh, arrested downtown. Um, I was arrested for freedom of speech on the public sidewalk after being uh, casted by uh, uh, by the officer, by an officer. Then when they realized they had messed up, I was immediately released and let go after being thrown uh, to the to the ground so they knew that uh, they needed to silence him or uh, look for something to fix him so that he doesn't file a complaint because they already they threw him on the ground uh, meaning they infringed on his rights and uh, and they they knew he, he might uh, file a, a complaint so it was a way of trying to make him uh, scared or not uh, proceed with uh, uh, lodging a, a, a complaint. Simple request of turning your You could have gotten your cars and left. That would not have been our job though. What? Our job. Is to stop music because yes. you're mad? No, not because I'm no. mad. because it's disrupting. You were case. triggered. It's you definitely were triggered. Case. You didn't. And your neighbors Both of you got complain. options. I talked to him with my neighbor. I'm not talking Hey, my neighbor, him. did you have a problem with my music? I did not talk about him. Did you have a problem? You didn't? Justice, ju ju Justice, uh, uh, Justice Tracker is even proving his innocence even more further by asking the neighbor uh, if he, who was even using a, um, the blow, which is even more louder than you can imagine. It was even more loud, and he was uh, just a track. I was asking the, the neighbor if he had a problem with this music, which he was not. So that was another. And if you see the interaction from the officers, they did not want him to ask the neighbor because that's another um, uh, proof that they are actually wasting their time there. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be great. Tell me what. This is gonna be great. Exactly what you shouldn't do. What's that? Bitch, what, but it's also good at the same time. We need to expose this stuff. We, this, what am I doing that I shouldn't be doing? This needs to be captured. What am I doing that I shouldn't be doing? You're violating, let's say, for example, I'm exhibiting my First Amendment right. You can you can have loudspeakers with that. Do you realize that? You don't know law. And I can, you know what? I'm not gonna go on this to you with your you. First Amendment right <laughs> you is definitely don't know law. You definitely amplified. don't know law. It you is definitely not. don't know law. You definitely don't. And you're about to cost your department. Continue is all I gotta okay. say, man. Okay. Just just do it. Do it. Do what you gotta do. I greatly appreciate I don't care either. Do what you gotta do, man. Amplify this, man. It's do it. Cost your department because of your ego. I go ahead. Ego. I, I it's always in intimidating. 
when uh, to, to officers when they find somebody who is smart and who knows his, his rights, his or her rights. It's always intimidating because they don't know what to do. Like these guys now, these officers here, they look like they are stranded. They don't know whether the justice worker is telling them, you arrest me, I will not resist. Uh, you can take me to jail if you want, I'm ready. But the the fact it's very rare to get somebody who is innocent, who is willing to go, because just the can knew he, he was innocent. So if they want uh, uh, to take him, that's fine. And uh, the officers were not happy with that because they cannot start saying, because there was always the issue of uh, saying now uh, you, are you are resisting an arrest, you are obstructing investigation. But uh, this innocent uh, man is saying, no, I'm ready. We can go if you want. It's, so it's very intimidating, especially uh, uh, to officers, because they don't know what to do next. Because they can't take you, because they know that they, they, they are doing that legally. And they, they can't, uh, they, they can't uh, get something to hold on, or to, so that they say you are guilty of something. I really appreciate the music. I really appreciate however, the music I turned down. If you could just keep it down again, we don't have. To I'm have gonna live my life and be a free citizen. Talk, man. I'm sorry that you well, feel that way. Because you no, it's I just not, don't like explanations for being a free citizen. It's it's not. That, man. It's not. <laughs> continue, that. man. So <laughs> continue. I just said continue. Look, man. If, so, if someone if someone is standing right here, from right here to over there, and they can hear your music, that is more than seven. And you touch my. That trunk illegally. No. Just know, I know. No. I don't care. Just know you. Just know you know. I know. It's not that uh, he was not happy. This officer here was not happy that uh, they conducted an illegal search. That's illegal, illegal, illegal search, and he was telling them that I know. So that's another wrong which they did. Done. So done. You cross the threshold, however, without permission. Just know what I know. I don't care how you feel. Just know what I know, and I'll proceed properly. D Bloom, appreciate 742. The music for being turned down at this point. Mm -hmm. If you could just keep it low, so the next. B Walton. Yes. I don't appreciate how you attempted to get on his side, but I liked how initially you did everything right, and how even now. You're using proper training, and I've recognized it, and I put you on notice I've recognized it. 7-Eleven, good job. And I appreciate you for turning the music down. If I didn't touch down, it. I didn't touch well, it. it helped us out. But I appreciate... <laughs> it helped us out. I appreciate it's noticed. And I appreciate this. However it happened, if it was as predicted... That's fine. I it's, it's noticed right. what you just did. Just know that. I know you can't always answer for, you know partners and whatnot but just notice i notice we don't have to go any further than that just know i know what i'm talking about and i appreciate that thank you officer you guys have a good evening you are dismissed continue and do your job protect and serve okay. all right we need more officers that are compliant with constitutional law and rights mm -hmm. and that aren't triggered by unnecessary situations that know how to de-escalate according to training and policy it's a good thing and you're a black officer Recognize, good job, because this all started with policing. This guy is schooling, is is educating uh, uh, officers on on how they should do their work. <laughs> it's really, it's really affecting the egos of these officers, especially the one on the, who was trying to to force things. You yeah, black people, so good job. Appreciate that. You guys have a good night. Continue. You as well, man. All right. So I gotta say. I know you're under certain. I know a lot more than I got it. Good job. You have a good night. All right. Hey, watch him. Is that your partner? We're all partners. I'm not. No, it's not what I asked you. We're, we're all partners. As of right now, this is my partner because I'm up here helping him out. Watch him. You didn't even respond. Watch him. He's going to get you into some. He's the one managing the show now. He's the one who is summarizing the whole ordeal and dismissing the officers himself. That's a very smart guy. Shit, some litigation that you don't deserve for failure to intervene. You intervened this time, on the record. You literally just intervened, good job. Good job. Say it proud loud. Say no, no, because it's gonna be online.
Say it loud and proud. What's your name in Basham, officer? All right here. Officer B. Warden, 7-Eleven, did a good job intervening and de-escalating the situation, but he has to keep, you know, his mannerisms and his prestige. <laughs> I get it. But good job, officer. You have a good night. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah. He gave, he gave this other officer here uh, with a cap uh, a compliment with some little twist on, on to it because uh, he, um, he tried to support his body which of course was expected yep hey by the way don't get mad my music is going back on it's up to you what you do from now Be my music is going back on because he knows he was innocent all along and this these officers have nothing they have nothing to accuse him of <laughs> good job good job uh, um, justice um, uh, justice tracker uh, for standing uh, uh, your ground and uh, proving your innocence this uh, another part of this uh, uh, clip uh, which now shows um, uh, when the officers actually leave uh, uh, his compound uh, let me see if I can um, uh, on camera he says stand by that means they're already trying to in in instigate an action I'm on, that's all I heard all that yes, no that's fine sure. I'm gonna tell you where's your complaint warning where the complaint what's the warning me is that you can't be a complaint loud. it's too loud it's against city ordinance it is. there are bars downtown that have louder music this when you roll down the street that's fine city ordinance that's fine says that any where's animal, your decimal reader it doesn't have to be a decimal you, so just your experience yes got it the city ordinance says that any amplified music got that it. can be heard I need permission property, yeah, I got it. It's that car is louder than mine every day, okay. but I got it. Okay. Go ahead. So I will make video. I will make a video evidence. Please down. pay attention, my brother. I will make a video documentary of the loud noise around my neighborhood every day that no one complains about, and how an officer told me mine is too loud. Yes. That, there's cars right there that boom every day that boom my walls. Okay. But you're right. telling me mine. Right. I'm not calling. Sir, I didn't make a complaint. Right. It, I didn't. Your, I don't make. I'm not complaining. I'm only saying this so that way, since you have yours, we can start. It's way louder. So this, but that's but I don't complain. Can I just say, but can he I, has a complaint against me. Can I speak? Which you people? can't be a complainant, and I don't know if you know that or not. Are you? I know. I, I make sense. It makes sense. You're way younger than me. I know I look young. I've been doing this for a long. It definitely does. Experience. Explain it real quick. Cops explain it. Say again. I said cops explain me. Go ahead. Tell me what I don't know. Okay. So what? So I'm a constitutionalist. Tell me what I don't know. Go ahead. So my thing I'm listen. is here. I'll listen. Right. I'll listen. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen. So, I want to hear anybody complain or anything, but just like about the state. For example, if your vehicle is driving down the street, so it's not driving. Talking, listen to me, man. Just, uh, okay, I'm sorry for interrupting your, your, your explanation. You, you, you're not going to let me talk, are you? I you, definitely you, you don't want me to talk. I promise you, you I want to hear it. Okay. Is that so, what you're going to do? Hypothetically speaking. Okay. Let's say a vehicle's riding down the street, right? Mm -hmm. You're constitutional, so you, you know your laws, right? Yeah. Okay, so how many feet away can you not. Can you hear a uh, uh, sound application device coming from the vehicle before you pull it over? See, no, just answer the question. I didn't say anything. I'm waiting for you. Answer the question. Where's your decimal reader? It's, you don't need a decimal reader. You don't need that? No, you do not. So how do you know how many feet away? How many feet go by, for example, how, 50 to 75 feet. How do you know? Have you made the example by by calculating the feet with your I, feet? I can. I can grab my So you can. Do you want me to grab? He is wrong. He's saying 50 to 75, but it's supposed to be 75 feet or more and uh, he um, uh, is being asked how did he know and he's saying uh, it's just by sight nothing no, no nothing uh, he didn't have anything to to, to to prove that it's just out of his um, uh, uh, imaginations of, or what he thought it was uh, uh, loud uh, uh, noise uh, according to his own measurement. I'm 
Would you That's like me to do that? I'll grab it right now for you. Just for you. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Bloom. D. Bloom. 742. Is your body camera on? So this guy has already... Um, uh, is going to get something to prove to prove that uh, uh, um, uh, this this uh, justice struggle is uh, guilty uh, or uh, has committed uh, an offense so is is going to get something a tape or a, a gadget to prove that it's the sound uh, was over uh, more than 75 uh, feet away at this point the sound is off so this man is trying to this officer is trying to to to, to it's it's kind of working in reverse that is something they should have done prior to uh, coming to illegally this the, this man so you cannot start saying now okay now let me go for my uh, uh, my equipment to measure the feet and uh, as required and he's also talking of 50 to 75 which is wrong it's from the what i found on the uh, the website of uh, jamben uh, illinois code of ordinance it's 75 feet or more so it's even wrong at that point yes it is excellent thank you I like to educate our local law enforcement so that we can have a better experience. I like to help educate residents so of the city. Did you go to law school? What? No, I didn't. You went to the academy? I went to the police academy. Okay, that's all that. Enough said. I like education. It's a great thing. You got your situation handled and everything? It's none of your concern, I'm sure. It's public information. No, no, it's not. I'll look it up tonight. Perfect. You look it up tonight. For you. Are you serious? Did you just say that to me? It's, that it's not concern. public knowledge? No. Not all of it is. No. You're explaining a lot to me. No, it seriously is public domain. Not all of it. Not all of the information that was gathered on this call is your, is out for public record. It's not. You're right. So that anything I disrupted, not public domain? Ask your question again. There was no aspect of whatever investigation you were conducting that wouldn't be public domain to me. There's no, there no you heard me. Would be. There would be. What? There's juveniles involved, so you would not have access to Have I filmed any juveniles? No, no. Have I disrupted anything? That, that's not what I said. You literally you're said my music. My, you're, you're putting words I in filmed my you. So you see, they, they are, trying, they, they are um, uh, trying to find anything. Try and... Uh, uh, this uh, and this innocent guy, so they are trying to to pick issues which are not even related, but they found a smart uh, man here. That my music you couldn't think. You said it. It's on camera. Yeah. Uh, recap. Yeah. I did say that. It was so loud that it was hard to think. Yes. I did say <laughs> As a so you're a trained professional through the academy who has experience. How long have you been a police officer? 20 years. 20 year veteran, loud music can actually disrupt your thoughts? Yes. <laughs> I'll take that. This is uh, Officer Bloom, yep. patrol officer yep. of 20 years. Uh, you're not getting it. So you're in violation of the city Go orders. ahead and, 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 and arrest me. I'll, I'm ready to go. I'll put everything down. I'll go. So I'll go. I'll go. No, I don't. That was the best thing to say, because if they, if at that point, if if uh, Justice Strack had committed a crime, then they would have arrested him and taken him away. But they could not do it because they have no reason. They had no reason to do it, and so that one must have affected their ego in a very big way. Because Justice Strack has told them, "No, I'm ready. Let's go." But they can't take him because it's nothing. Because if we had make a, if, we, if we had made a, a mistake or a, a crime or an offense, uh, they would have uh, uh, given him a, a fine or, or uh, uh, a fine a ticket or taken them to jail because he was saying, "I'm ready, let's go." But that one, they could not do it still. 
care. I want to go, go to jail. It's if not, you write me a ticket, you're taking me to jail. It's not, I want to go. It's not, if not, leave me alone. You're taking me to jail or you're not bothering me. You better not touch anything of mine. I'm gonna close it so I can see your No, you're not. Like. You better not touch my private property. Sir? Fourth Amendment. No. Fourth Amendment, I'm secure in my persons and property. Yes, that's illegal such. Not allowed. Property exactly. itself. Do not touch my property on private property. I have an officer on my private property, which is private property. Keep out. Step, step into my property. So, um, uh, citizens need to really understand that. Because I've seen uh, some cases on uh, where officers uh, 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 found on camera actually planting some illegal uh, items while they are conducting illegal search on someone. So the moment you allow officers to search your car, they have to, to they can do anything. And that's especially in private where there is no cameras. When they are searching your car and maybe your car doesn't have any dash cam or anything like that, they can plant anything. Even if you have dash cam, it's very easy for someone to plant something on your car and say, oh, they found it uh, under the seat or something like that. And I've seen on camera uh, where situations where a, a, a gun is planted on uh, an innocent, innocent person and even uh, some illegal stuff, uh, which I don't want to mention. So uh, it's always good to say I don't consent to any such. And that's why um, Justice uh, Tracker was telling them that you have done illi uh, an illi you have, first of all you have trespassed into my home without any warrant and you went ahead to, to, to search uh, uh, his car. Trying back to video up. cam wow. back up on my property, take me down and arrest right. me. This is I'll, I'll go. I'll, no, I want you to do what you feel. You have the right Keep to your do. hands out of your pockets for me, please. Now we're pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Now we're pockets. Now we're pockets. Thank you for asking. You see now, so at that point, because they are trying to get something to pin him on, they mentioning the issue of uh, remove your hand from your pocket. Somebody who has a camera uh, uh, filming, then you all of a sudden start saying remove your hand from your pocket. Just to, 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 to go on record that he was trying to do something. So they are trying hard to pin, to pin something on or, or get something to stick, uh, which can stick... Uh, uh, on this case, they are trying to to build. You're the one that is doing this. You're an officer. You're supposed to be asking. Like, sitting here training your policy. I read every day. I know your whole policy manner of conduct. Literally, I know it. And you're not acting in it. Continue. <laughs> on camera. Continue. You're in, Continue. you're in violation of a city ordinance. I am asking Prove you it. To, he didn't I get am. the tape measure. It doesn't matter. If you're amplifying what? music... It, yes, prove it. This man... Is even talking of city ordinance and the and uh, the officer sorry, is talking of uh, breaking the rules of uh, uh, the the city ordinance, and uh, he's even uh, getting it ro wrong because he mentioned that it is between fifty and seventy five, which is wrong for for because the, it uh, says seventy five feet or more, so the officer is wrong and he's still insisting, he's not even sure. Justice Tracker asked, uh, how did you prove it? How did you measure? And the guy said, no, uh, uh, just uh, out of his uh, uh, imagination or uh, his uh, smart uh, approximation, <laughs> no gadget, no anything. He didn't make, uh, there was nothing to measure. But, but he is still trying to insist that this man is, uh, is guilty of an offense. If your if device stop. to record your, the distance. If your what is your device? Music, what is your device? My ears. My ears. Your experience? Yes. It's so you can ears. judge stop distance talking. by feet, by your ears. Talking. It's not about feet. Back away. Where is your device? My ears. <laughs> That's a police officer. It's not about me feet. Doing here. It's not about feet. So what is it? Anything that can be heard off of your property line is violation. So when I go down. That's a lie. He's saying it's not about feet. That's a lie. This officer needs to be trained afresh. Afresh. You can't say it is not about feet. Then now it will be at the discretion of officer officer to just say this one was loud, this one was not. Just by the mere eye. How do we know? Maybe even the uh, uh, his uh, 
uh, years are deteriorating or something like that because you cannot rely on someone's uh, ears that would be biased and he's saying it's not about feet and yet it's written it's clearly written that it should be 25 um, uh, feet or more and in a public place uh, on the the code of ordinance which they should know they should be able to understand the policies uh, pretty well fairly well than any uh, uh, other person, but apparently they are not. Town, I hear the music from the clubs and the bars yeah. banging into the street. They're in violation. You could call. Are they in violation? They can't so be why yet. aren't you arresting them? Because I'm so not. So you're there singling right me out. I am not. So your so your no. department is singling no. me out. No. Your department is singling. Yes, I they are. You, you literally have clubs that have double the decimal volume downtown. I go there every night. I need you to provide your. And ID. you are going to single me out. I need you to provide your ID. I have no. I told you I will go to jail with you. I will go. I'm not gonna fight you on this. Take me downtown. Take me down. We both know cash for bail is over. No, I don't care what you want. You're gonna you're gonna respect my rights or you're gonna back down. I'm not gonna back down. There we go. I need your Neither idea. am I. Ego. I need your idea. Neither am I. Okay. Do what you gotta do, I'm right here. I told you I will willingly go. I will not resist arrest. I will not resist your commands once you've placed me under arrest for what? I'm accepting it. I accept it. Your officer, I accept you. That's a smart, that's a smart move by uh, Justice Tracker by saying um, uh, I'm not resisting any arrest. Because in most cases, they will bring in the issue of uh, uh, he resisted arrest during our investigation, blah, blah, blah. But uh, Justice Tracker has already gone ahead of their imagination and he's already tell them I'm not resisting arrest, let's go. So they cannot cook anything. They cannot get anything to pin on him. And it, that is really affecting their ego. Big time. Why you're going to arrest me. You don't even know why. Because you won't listen. You're definitely right, I don't. Yes. We're conducting the investigation for the city organization. What is your name and badge number? I just want to, for the record, 7-Eleven. Go ahead, give them the license plate number. Once they, once they register my name, I'm going to take you back down. You know why? Because I've sued you before. I'm suing you now. <laughs> Continue. Continue. What's your name? What's your name and badge? Excuse me again. I appreciate you being more respectful than him. He was triggered. I, that, it, for the record, I observed that. Do what you got to do, man. I'm not gonna fight you. Over. That's uh, that's really amazing. Uh, Justice Tracker actually did so well so well he, he did so well because the officers uh, eventually um, um, uh, eventually just uh, walked away with no uh, no ticket no arrest no nothing they just uh, did uh, uh, the work of shame they just did the work of shame and uh, they just went without any arrest after wasting this man's uh, time so Justice Tracker won, is won at the end of the day because he knew his constitutional rights. He knew what to say uh, without incriminating himself. So the disadvantage which happens in most cases when, when one speaks uh, during police encounter is that you might say something which they will use against you. But uh, uh, Justice Tracker was so smart, everything he said was articulate. And it was in a way that he was not going to incriminate himself. And also he was able to identify questions which were aimed at um, uh, I'm twisting him so that he can uh, uh, accept the responsibility over an offense which never existed. So he was so smart. But for a citizen or an innocent person who doesn't know how to, to, to argue his situation or uh, prove his innocence, the best advice would be to to keep uh, quiet. Just um, uh, exercise your right right of of uh, not answering in any question from the police, and uh, you just straightforward tell them I'm not answering any questions, and that's my right. It's my constitutional constitutional right not to answer anything. And uh, the issue of ID because they demanded identification, so you cannot, they cannot um, ID you or demand your identification if you have not committed a crime. 
they should uh, give you an, uh, a reason why they have to ID you. Because the moment you give them your ID, you will enter into your system and yet you didn't commit anything. So they have to give you a uh, articulable suspicion that uh, uh, you committed or you are about to commit uh, uh, a crime. But most people do not, do not know that. So they just give out their identification, they enter into their database for something they never committed. And in some cases, they end up, if they really, because they are human beings, these officers can decide to, to fix you over something you didn't do. So the moment you give the ID, they might uh, start putting you on issues you never, uh, you never even uh, imagined. So most cases, in most cases, the best thing to, to, to which we can uh, help you not to fall in trouble is never answer questions because you might incriminate yourself. Because sometimes they ask questions to tailor to to um, twist you so that you can incriminate yourself from the way you answer questions. And the moment you are not consistent in the way you are answering questions, that's when they say you are, you are, you are, you are suspicious in the way uh, you are behaving. So issues of identification, there has to be articulable suspicion, uh, reason why they, they demand ID. Then violation of uh, your rights, you should know your, at least the basics of your rights. And in most cases, you, it's better when you are not sure what to do, just uh, tell the officers you are not answering any questions and uh, if you are as brave as this man just struggle, tell them if you have committed a crime let them take you to jail but some people the moment they they hear the word jail they are taken to jail they start trembling and all that and you you end up giving up your 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 rights issues of trespass you should say you don't uh, allow such so if pe people are trespassing your, your house the way they did to uh, just struggle, you should demand a search warrant. Even on your vehicle, you should also not allow uh, illegal search. So people should be brave enough to tell them, we don't, I don't allow, I don't consent to illegal search. Because the moment you, you give them that authority, you have given out your, your rights. So it's always good when they are um, citizens uh, who are who really know their 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 rights. Like uh, Justice Saga, it's really it's really um, I would say it's suiting or uh, it's really satisfying to know when when innocent people uh, stand their ground and prove their innocent innocence in a victorious way as this man. Because if it was a different person, uh, the justice track would have ended up in jail. Because they were trying to, to, to talk, um, uh, I don't know the right word to use it, but they were trying to put so much uh, issues on him, which are an system, so that at least one of them can stick and they go with that uh, in the kind of questioning they were they, they were trying to do so if so i would say if you are not as smart as justice tracker then you better uh, don't answer any questions be quiet be firm tell them i'm not answering any questions and you ask for a lawyer that's it that you are day and then don't consent to any such if you are in your vehicle if you are in your property ask for uh, uh, such warrant, which in most cases is not there, and uh, that will save you from uh, uh, ending up in jail. And then, uh, if you have a dash cam, well and good. If you don't have, if you have a phone, just record, just record scenarios like this. No, whether you even if an officer tells you, I have my dash cam, I have my uh, body camera, it doesn't matter, just record with your phone because and be calm the way he was, be calm. Because we have seen cases where uh, the footage for the the officer's uh, body cam disappears, but at least you will be having your own camera to prove uh, what happened. Because there are officers who, in some cases where they change tone and tactic the moment they realize, or even questioning the moment they realize they're on camera. 
So it's always safe to have a, if you're able, if you have a camera, learn good. There are even officers who have lied on camera that uh, you're over speeding. The moment you tell them I have a dash cam which can confirm the speed, that's when they, they, they tell you you can proceed on your journey because they have nothing now. Or they look for other reasons uh, to, 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 uh, to, to say you've committed a, a crime. So they start looking for other things. They might start saying, oh, your light is like this. But initially, the primary reason for stopping most cases uh, would have uh, they would have mentioned uh, that it is uh, a speed. The moment you mention I have a, 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 a dash cam which confirms speed, they change tune and they start saying other things. So it's always good to ask for the primary reason of, uh, like if you are the, if you are on a traffic stop, you give, uh, you ask the primary reason. And sometimes when they don't have, they start uh, insisting first of all to identify uh, for your identification. So you have to be smart uh, and know your rights every time and the basics of law uh, that to save. Uh, you from a lot of trouble all right guys i really um like the way justice tracker handled this situation and uh, uh much credit to, to him for uh, for this uh, because he's the author of uh, uh, this uh, uh, video on uh, uh, police uh, interaction Alright guys, thank you for being here and see you next time. Bye-bye.